Hi everyone, KSLA First Alert, Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle here. Continue to watch another round of rain and storms that will come through the Arklatex tonight. And there is some potential for severe weather out of that. However, the atmosphere of a large part of the Arklatex has been worked over pretty good by uh, already a couple rounds of rain and storms that have been impacting us today and even on through some of the evening hours. Officially, there's a tornado watch in effect until 1 in the morning south of I-20. And really, I think it's going to be the far southern parts of the Arklatex that may be most impacted by some stronger thunderstorm activity. Now, I do want to stress uh, our main concern is not tornadoes overnight tonight. The threat remains low across the southern Arklatex. The threat for damaging wind is actually higher across the same area. Threat for large hail, I think, has largely come and gone for most of the area. Uh, we did have some reports of that earlier, parts of East Texas into Northwest Louisiana, but unlikely that hail will uh, get quite to the level of what we saw a little bit earlier today. Again, damaging winter, the main threat. Tornado risk, though, it's not zero, and uh, that's the reason for the watch. But I won't, don't want you to get too hung up over the tornado potential. Now here's the latest with high resolution future track and what is happening is we're going to get another band of rain and storms coming at us out of central Texas. If you're around Toledo Bend Reservoir, I think that's where the threat will be maximized for some additional severe weather, basically from there and to the south. So even though the tornado watch does come almost up to I-20, I'm not real convinced that we'll see uh, things of any concern that far to the north. All right, let's take you through the latest forecast here. We'll start you off 11 o'clock this evening. This is when it'll start to get more active across parts of East Texas. Again, that far southern part of the Arklatex, stronger storms there. There will be a larger shield of moderate to maybe some heavy rain coming in to the north of that. We'll put things into motion. You do see the stronger storm activity again close to Toledo Bend and areas south. To the north, it's just going to be rainfall. Maybe a little gusty wind showing up out of some of those heavier downpours, but nothing that would likely be severe. So we take you on through the late night hours, continue to see this progress across the Arklatex by 3 in the morning. We're probably done around I-30. We're likely done with uh, most of the rain activity in East Texas, but still some rain and embedded thunderstorm activity across portions of Northwest Louisiana. And then by the time we reach five in the morning, I should be pretty well a done deal with anything heavy, although still some lingering showers possible through the day on Thursday. All right, let's break down tomorrow in more detail. Waking up in the morning, 50s to the north, low 60s to the south. And again, there may be a little bit of rain that continues to pass through parts of the Arklatex, mostly during the morning hours tomorrow. Temperatures by lunchtime, a lot of this will depend on breaks in the cloud cover, but you can see a bit of a range here, maybe the low to mid 70s for parts of northwest Louisiana compared to upper 50s and low 60s around the I-30 corridor. We will continue to dry out tomorrow afternoon and break up the cloud cover. So by the end of the day, uh, likely seeing temperatures ranging from the upper 60s in the north to lower to mid 70s down to the south. So it won't turn out to be too bad of a Thursday after still a little bit of wet weather, mostly during the morning hours. Here is that first alert seven day forecast. Your Friday looks fine, mostly sunny, cool again in the morning, 53. We'll bounce back to around 80 in the afternoon. Unfortunately, that nice weather won't last very long. We've got another weather maker that'll come in here, probably starting Friday night with some rain chances. And then into Saturday, could have some scattered showers, maybe a few thunderstorms. Right now, does not look like anything severe. High temperature Saturday, only around 70. Sunday, we start to dry out back into the mid 70s for highs. And then beyond that, should gradually get a little bit warmer as we head into early May, back into the 80s. By Tuesday, those morning lows will still be in the 50s earlier in the week, but should get back back into the 60s for morning lows by midweek. Latest on your forecast, always on our website, KSLA.com, and on your smartphones with the KSLA First Alert weather app. We'll be here watching the storms as we head through the late night hours. Meteorologist Matt Jones will have your next forecast update, getting you out the door tomorrow morning starting at 4.30 a.m. Hope you have a great night. We'll see you first thing in the morning.